They could have picked any venue in the world, but they chose this one for a reason. What an atmosphere. This is the Lighthouse Theater. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure to work with you. Always a pleasure. It's time for our tale of the tape. It's Saul Canelo Alvarez. He's 172 centimeters tall with a reach of 179. And he'll be facing the English legend, the one and only Ricky Hit Manhattan. Wayne Yan at Saul Canelo Alvarez, the Mexican legend, the middleweight, the super middleweight, the light heavyweight who fights out of Guadalajara, Mexico. Ricky hit Manhattan, fighting out of Manchester, United Kingdom, one of the most beloved fighters in English boxing history. Look at this, these fights are so awful. Look at that. The fighters are ready to go. Let's hear the official introductions. We turn it over to the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, here is Mexico's first ever undisputed world champion and renowned star of boxing. Here is a four division world champion and an undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo Alvarez. Fighting out of the blue corner, introducing from Manchester, England, a popular and exciting junior welterweight and welterweight champion of the world. Here is Ricky Hitman Hatton. What a pleasure to be in this unique environment. Every seat has been taken for tonight's match. You know, look at the stars, ex-fighters, ex-champions, ringside. You've got future opponents, past opponents. That's what these fights do. That's what these venues do. These athletes have promised us a war. Let's see if they deliver. Nice counter shot. He threw the hook, didn't land. <laughs> the counter lands. Good counter punching for both these athletes. That left counter punch will score. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Good counter right hand again. Good left counter that lands. Punch, counter punch. Fighters love being in this venue as the audience is right on top of you, and they will be bringing the heat tonight. They are ready to watch this showdown. Todd, I love theaters for all these reasons. You can hear everybody in the crowd. You can hear the punches. The punches that echo. If you're a fighter coming in, and you know you're in such an intense atmosphere, you know the pressure is going to be on. I can't believe we're only halfway through the round. Great counter right hand there. Good counter punch. And he fails to score with that left hook. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? So they don't get complacent. You think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. And there's the bell to start round two. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one.
This fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he had. With sluggers, you cannot let them get into a rhythm because this is how they train. This is how they prepare for fight. This is what they'll do all night. Do not dance their dance. You've got to use speed. That punch scores. Exchange here from both men. This has been a very competitive round as we reach the midway point. Missed him with that. This is not good news for Ricky Hatton. Well, he's got him right where he wants him. Can he put him away? He somehow weathered the storm. Punch scores. Are we about to see Ricky Hatton go down? Very close round with 10 seconds to go. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Let's get it started in round three. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You find a swarm, you've got to protect everything. The body with the elbows, the head with the forearm. You've got to try and push them off balance because they will just stay in your face. Round, the momentum continues to shift. Nice exchange here from both men. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked? Connect percentages have to be off the charts. Another scoring shot there. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Are we about to see Ricky Hatton go down? Ricky Hatton has been clipped. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. On to the fourth we go. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're gonna be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot. And that Ricky Hatton right now, not where he wants to be. Big punch, and Ricky Hatton is down.
back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. This is not good news for Ricky Hatton. Big shot, and down goes Hatton. because this fighter won't stay down. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Final 10 seconds here, and I think he knows he's won this way. Oh, he got clipped. He got clipped, and this may be it. Not what he expected from this round. They say no one knows a fighter better than their trainer, and this trainer is certainly considering maybe throwing in the towel after their fighter got dropped twice. Unbelievable heart knocked down twice! Come on. Starting to heat up now as we enter the fifth. Is this the beginning of the end after two knockdowns last round? I have no idea what they have left. What, how? How did you come back from something like that? And twice? Where's your head at? Where's your energy levels at? It tells you you've got nothing left. It looks like he's going up for the finish here. His opponent with his guard up. Didn't wait long to get back and get engaged. Those punches add up. He's rolled the dice. He's coming up aces here. With can he see the hitman, Ricky Hatton, goes to the canvas. Shots like that in the gym. At least for once, this is on TV. Thousands around the world saw that shot. They probably even heard it. 